There's a secret to good coffee, guys. Oat milk. Thank you so much for clicking back on the channel, guys. I'm going to start this video by saying a massive thank you to a company from Ukraine called Beaver Craft. If you're into bushcraft, you definitely would have heard of them. I certainly had. And I've only heard good things. So it's a massive thank you from me. I'll tell you why I'm saying thank you. Um, the other day when I was going through my emails, I checked my spam and there was an email in there from Beavercraft saying that they'd seen my content, uh, they really liked it, they were impressed by my skills and they would like me to review one of their products, my choice. Now I've got loads of knives guys, I've only got one axe which isn't the best, so I've chosen one of their axes. I'll show you the axe, I'll show you its uses now and uh, honestly now blown away. So first of all, massive thanks to Beavercraft. Thank you guys. Cheers. So here's the axe here guys, okay? It's the AX1 model. I think they do three models. It's hand forged. And the handle there is beech. It's very hard wood, okay? Its weight is 600 grams, so it's just over a pound in weight. So why I chose this one, guys, as opposed to the two and three, this is a smaller version. So this is ideal for me. Um, obviously, you're not going to be able to, well, you could do, but it'll take your time. It's not one for felling down trees. It's for, you can actually use it for wood carving. It's listed as a wood carving axe or hatchet. Um, yeah, for me this is fine, okay, for battening, for making steaks, etc, etc, splitting wood, and even carving, okay, making feather sticks as well. So it's come with a, a leather mask here, okay. It's also come with a leather belt sheath so it just slots in there like that this is my fire kit or my bushcraft kit it sits on that belt there for now okay so when you start using your hatchet around camp okay something just a little tip when you take the mask off don't put it down okay put it in your pocket because of its color quite easy to get miss go missing okay so in your pocket it goes that's if when I received the axe the first thing I checked was the head uh, my previous axe as soon as I bought it I sharpened it I didn't have to do it with this one guys and that's the truth okay that is sharp enough that's wicked, okay? But if you were to sharpen it, well, you should carry it on with you. If you are going to be using an axe like this, is some sort of sharpening stone. Well, I use a Lansky pack stone. Cheapest chips, you can get them on Amazon. It's a round stone. There's two different grades on it. There's a rougher and a smoother. Just put a bit of oil, a bit of water, or a bit of spit on it, and keep your tools sharp, okay? So Lansky pack stone. We'll go ideal with this. Flat down there, okay. So something that I picked on, up on immediately, okay, because I had a good look around. You know, felt this weight. The length of the handle is perfect for me. Uh, some people would prefer it longer, I know, but that is absolutely perfect for me. So something I noticed, which is a bonus, guys, as opposed to most axes, that end there is flat. Flat's a pancake. So you can use that to bang nails in, bang stakes in, whatever, okay? It's flat. That's a bonus straight away. That's an excellent idea, guys. 
That's really clever, that is. That is ideal, because uh, my previous axe and other axes I've looked at in stores, considering buying, they've been rounded, okay? They're okay, you know, you can't use them as an axe, as a hammer, sorry, but that is completely flat. So there's a bonus there. It's got a drill hole there, if you want to put some paracord through it. You know, you can loop it around your hand for safety. So it's hand forged, guys. It's hand forged, okay? So it's hardened carbon steel, okay? And that there, my mistake, it's not beach, it's ash. That wood there is ash, okay? So it's a, it's a hard wood. It's got a copper pin in there. For security. It's got a little recess here, you can put your thumb in. You know, if you are using it for carving. But I've seen somebody make a spoon out of this. Absolutely brilliant. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to procure some wood. And show you some ways you can use it, okay? Just something I forgot to mention, guys, this is dimensions. So it's 300 millimetre. 140, that's three and a half inches, and 75 width across the broadest part. So, I'll say lots of uses, guys. This would keep a, a wood stove going or twig stove brilliantly. And it's that small, it can fit in your pack. You don't have to wear it on your belt, put it in your pack. I don't like wearing them on the outside, to be honest. Great in the pack, okay? Because it comes in a sheath, so it's not going to damage any of your equipment. Let's go and procure some wood. So while I'm procuring wood, guys, right, there's a little tip for you. So we've got some lovely fat wood here, okay? I'm going to take this home now. Yeah, beautiful. Have a play around with it. Get all this off the outside. And I got myself some fat wood. So just a tip. If you're looking for fat wood, got a pine tree. I took it from there, look. See, I took it from there. I'm not taking much, just that mount. And that's where all the resin builds up. So this is a little tip for you there, okay? There you go, look, I hope you can see that. You can see it. You can see the resin starting to come out now where I freshly cut it. But that is an excellent piece of tinder, guys. Superb. Just going back to the fat wood, guys. There you go. That smells like nail varnish, you know, guys? So I'll take this home now as well. And get to work in there. So what you want is what's on the inside there. Put in my fire kit. So it's important to point out, guys, Apart from wearing gloves when you work them in the axe, always, always, always carry a knife back around with you, right? Individual first aid kit. Right, so this is a bit of fat wood, I'm going to work on that first. There you go. Perfect. Using the brace again, guys. Don't be tempted to swing blindly, okay? And it's far away from my body. There you go. Yeah. So that's some after there. So some lovely fat wood to go in my fire kit so I'm gonna get the wood I've um I procured now and we'll have a look what this axe can do right guys so we'll um we start by doing some battening okay so even though it's really difficult to work in gloves it's pretty essential okay so we're gonna use this 
for a for a base, something pretty hard. Okay. Just with that. Don't be tempted to twist the axe here. Just pull the timber apart. Like so. So we're looking for the dry stuff on the inside. Still working with the same piece, guys. Like so. That's why I cut them is the pieces of wood this length, guys. Same again. Let's go one more time. There we go. Like so. So, one of the ways I prefer to make feather sticks, guys, is like this, okay? So it's away from my body, there's the blade. I'm behind the blade and just pulling the wood, okay? There's a notch there, guys. See? So as I'm saying about the blade, it's really, really strong. Well, I prefer using this method making feather sticks it's, it's a lot safer these guys you get the idea guys now days something else you can do guys fair play guys it's going through like butter Want to shave it? Do we'll that way. All in all, guys, absolutely brilliant tool. I made light work of that.
Superb. So there you go guys. What a superb axe. So the price of it guys is $75. So that comes to £68 in British money, okay? So thanks for watching this video guys. Much appreciated. And again, massive th massive thanks to um, Beavercraft. Thank you so much. Absolutely amazing. So kind, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. Thanks guys, and thanks to all my members. Um, you're helping out a lot guys, i got nine members, and I've set at the lowest bar. You guys are helping out amazing. Thanks guys, and thanks everyone. Out!